A big problem faced by many youth today is something best described as a lack of spiritual foundation. They're missing something to entice the mind, to get them thinking and working in a different light. With this lack comes the risk of youth without a purpose, without goals and hopes and dreams. They often end up on the streets with no way to get their life back together. Yes, this is a very serious problem, but we're lucky because there are answers. When my Youth and Philanthropy Initiative work group heard about Sistema Toronto, we were really excited because we appreciate and value Sistema's missions and goals, and its objectives really resonate with us. All four of us are music students, and we have had our lives changed by music. We have also met with the children of Sistema, and we have seen firsthand how Sistema has enriched their lives. As youth, we know that children really are the future of our society and we believe that every child deserves a happy childhood and a shot at a successful future. Sistema Toronto helps to accomplish all these things through the power of music. There is evidence to prove that childhood music lessons have long-term benefits. Different aspects of music affect different parts of the brain, which are shown in this diagram. This way music develops the brain as a whole, and children taking music lessons develop a range of skills. Drumming and tapping will improve their sense of rhythm and coordination, and a regular practicing routine will make the child more conscientious and responsible. Now what is Sistema Toronto? Sistema Toronto is a non-government funded charity program that provides free music lessons to the underprivileged youths in the local community. It is a branch of the internationally known music program El Sistema in Venezuela. Sistema's mission is to inspire the students to reach their full potential as students, musicians, and ultimately citizens. They build a community through ensemble-based music lessons. They focus on inclusion of everyone, regardless of age, race, social background, or religion. They don't just teach music, they teach leadership, discipline, respect, peer support, and appreciation of music. The history of El Sistema is such an inspiring story that the documentary film Changing Lives was actually made solely to tell the story. The organization was founded by Jose Abreu in 1975 in Venezuela, where 90% of the students came from poor socioeconomic backgrounds. It brought the art of music to kids who never would have had the opportunity, got them off the streets, and gave them a purpose. Needless to say, it was met with huge success. Since then, El Sistema has grown considerably and is now reaching out to children in over 25 countries around the world. It came to Toronto in early 2011. Since January 2011, Sistema noticed that other parents who heard about Sistema Toronto want to move to Sistema's neighborhood so that their children can be a part of the program. Parents agreed that the children's confidence, concentration, behavior at home, ability to listen, and other life skills have improved during their time at Sistema. And it's not only the children that are affected. Their families also begin to have a sense of pride because their children have become passionate about music and play an instrument something that they might not have had the chance to do otherwise. The way Sistema Toronto inspires communities is through free music lessons to youth. Currently, the lessons offered are for the viola, violin, cello, double bass, voice, and the chunga. Participants attend Parkdale Public School, live in the district, and are between 5 to 10 years old.
students of Sistema Toronto show their appreciation for the music lessons they receive. And we can see this in a letter written by third grade student Judith to the artistic director of Sistema Toronto, Mr. David Vicentin. She writes, I am very happy about my concert, and the fact is that it makes me feel good inside that all my Sistema teachers all play a great melody when they play together, and now I play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on the violin. Thank you guys for everything, especially Mr. David. Currently, Sistema Toronto receives no funding from the government, but our hope is that as they continue to grow, they will receive it soon. Their projected costs from September 2012 to August 2013 are $420,000, and up to August 2017 are $1.8 million. Some major sponsors include TD Bank, Yamaha, and the Weston family. Here we have a basic pie chart on Sistema Toronto's expenses. The majority of Sistema Toronto's expenses go to paying the teachers so that they in turn can encourage students and help them to reach their full potential. The second biggest part of Sistema Toronto's funds go towards the instrument and music, such as buying instruments for the children to use or buying or photocopying music. Sistema Toronto inspires people inside and outside of the walls of Parkdale Public School. There are approximately 20 volunteers with musical backgrounds at Sistema, generally aged 14 to 65. Many volunteers find out about Sistema through their website. Some found out about it when Leonard Cohen donated the Glenn Gould prize money to Sistema in May 2012. There are currently 10 teachers part of Sistema that are also part of the Parkdale staff. One member of our group volunteers at Sistema, and she looks forward to it every week. The Sistema Toronto plans to expand the music program. In addition to strings instruments and vocals, they will introduce wind and brass instruments. The Sistema Toronto also hopes to expand their nutrition program, in which the students receive a healthy snack before each two and a half hour rehearsal. We recently received news that Sistema Toronto will be expanding to the York Woods Public School in the 2013-2014 school year. They hope to expand to even more schools and ultimately inspire more Toronto communities. Thank you for watching this presentation. We hope that Sistema Toronto inspires you as much as it inspires the four members of our group. Would you suggest Sistema to like another person? Do you think? Yeah. Yeah. yeah.